really moving forward, you must set yourself apart. Solo agents in this market are have a really hard time. More than any, you have to have training and you have to have mentorship. And so I think that's been another big shift in our market is you got to align yourself with people who are doing it. And I know a lot of agents, you know, obviously the big pushback is they don't want to pay a split. You know, I want to yeah. give up 50% of my commission. I get it. At the end of the day, it is important which team you pick. You want to make sure a, a team that you decide to give 50% of your commission to does have the training, does have the mentorship. Their doors are open. Like I promise to the solo agents out there that are listening, you can make four times more money than you're making on your own if you get mm -hmm. yourself aligned with a team that really is there to make you do better. You're listening to the number one real estate podcast in the world. We talk with real estate professionals all across North America, but their wins, losses, lessons, and stories help you win in your local market today. My name's Cody from Sheridan Street, uh, usually joined with Vikram Deal of the Real Estate Sales Academy, but he's not here, number one. <laughs> number two, he sent our guest a bunch of emails about a sales call today because somebody on his team set up, like, <laughs> set up the calendars wrong. And we were like joking about that prior to, like, I was like, texting like Vic and I was telling uh, uh, Daryl in the, in the, in the green room, I was telling him, I'm like, I'm like, Vic, I'm somebody on your team, like had all of your, your, all of the podcast entries in your e in, in, in the, your calendar getting like appointment reminders. He's like, what? And like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, like, like Daryl's the only one who, who actually pointed it out. The last 12th guest got right? reminders about like a sales call. So, you know, Daryl pointed it out and I, like, I went into his, go high level account. I was like, bro, I'm, I'm going to fix this really quick for you. It took me like, you know, 15, 20 <laughs> minutes to fix no it. So I'm super surprised no one said anything either. Yeah. I'm I'm specifically surprised. Like one of our good friends is coming on the podcast in a couple of weeks, uh, James Grant out of uh, Washington. And James, uh, I'm surprised James didn't say anything to us, but you did. So I want to, <laughs> I want to say thank you first and yeah. foremost, A, for joining us on the podcast and B, for telling us that our automations were broken. So <laughs> this welcome. was a win-win for us uh, regardless. But uh, Daryl, uh, why don't you give us like the 60 seconds Cliff Notes version of how you got into uh, into the real estate business, where you're at in the world and uh, what you're up to in, uh, in your business? Yeah. So I'm a realtor here in Las Vegas. Um, I've been licensed for uh, 21 years. Um, I'm a true native of Las Vegas, been here 51 years. Um, I was a contractor uh, before I was a, um, a a realtor. I owned the largest, one of the largest masonry companies here in town uh, for several years. And then um, I thought it'd be great to get my real estate license in 2002 and start buying and flipping homes. Um, Come in. So I got my license just to buy, renovate and flip homes in 2002. And then uh, that, of course, ended in 08. Um, and then I had to like completely refigure myself out again. And that's really where I started uh, practicing general real estate was in 2008, 2009. Um, you know, 2008 was a pretty tough year. Uh, I, yeah. I've been through several downturns. Um, this this last one's been pretty tough. Um, but, you know, here I am. You know, like to start in 2008, and I think that like a lot of agents have, you know, that I've been speaking with have got, got into the business, like, you know, the newer agents got into the business 2018 and kind of like a boom market, like where like we really did have 10 years of like life was great. Things are great. We, we weren't in a recessionary market like we're in now. And I, I'm curious because we were in the green room and we were, we were chatting uh, earlier just about stats and you know, a lot of markets across the U.S., like U.S. across the board is down. Me and Sharon were having this conversation the other day. It was down like is down like 33 percent. So transaction volume is massively down. But you you and I had chatted in the green room that you guys are still actively looking to grow and you have the team and you and Jillian are doing a lot. Jillian was actually a past guest on the Origin podcast. Like like maybe like walk, you know, people through kind of like how the team is structured just to set the context like what you're doing in the Vegas market, uh, you know, how many uh, agents you have, like, are you guys still active in production? Like, give us kind of like the high level overview, just set the context for people that might not know the credentials and what you guys actually do and the volume you guys are, are producing yeah, right now. Yeah, so me and Jillian uh, share responsibilities as far as managing the team. I'd say I'm, I'm a lot more heavy in that department as far as managing the team, but uh, we both do share in those responsibilities. Um, 
right now we're at 15 agents, uh, not including me and Jillian. So we're at 17. Uh, we've got two full-time transaction coordinators, a full-time marketing girl and a full-time videographer. Um, so, um, basically we're sitting right at about 21, uh, persons on the team. Um, oh man, I'll tell you, uh, we, we put 50, 53 transactions into escrow in July, which was Crazy. insane. Um, and I can completely contribute that to our training. Uh, <laughs> you know, obviously we've, we've gone into growth mode. We've added several agents, uh, in the past year where a lot of agents are dropping off. I know, you know, I think I heard this stat one agent drops out of the business <clears throat> every four minutes, uh, in the United States. Um, and a lot of people are just getting out of the business, but we're, we're, we're growing, uh, we're, we, we are actively looking to add agents. And I just think when the agent count, when the, when the, when the transaction count is down, then you have to add agents, uh, mm -hmm. because you know, each agent is only worth so many transactions in this market. Uh, and me and Jillian for so many years, uh, were just trying to have a good core group of agents that all did you know, 30 or 40 deals a year each, uh, you know, we've, we've found that that's pretty much a pipe dream, uh, to think that you're going to have 10 agents that all do 40 deals a year. You know, it just yeah. doesn't, it doesn't happen. Uh, and especially in this market in the last 14 months. So we had to go into growth mode and moving over to real, cause we're with real brokerage now. Um, their training has just been amazing. Uh, uh -huh. and going into this, uh, partnership that we have with, uh, two other large, uh, teams here in this one office collaboration and mentorship has never been s more important. Uh, yeah. Our agents are here. We, we have several trainings a week in the office that the agents come to, um, the other two teams that are in our office, their agents can come to our trainings. We go to their training. So it's a collaboration. Um, it. Real itself has a lot of uh, trainings that are online through Zoom. And every day it. there's 15 yeah. to 20 classes. So I really think it's been plugging into the training and plugging into um, just learning what's working from other agents around the nation. Um, uh -huh. Even for me and Jillian, we've been doing it now. Here she just walked in. Um We've been doing real estate combined over 42 years, me and Jillian. And just in the last, I'd say three or four months, me and her have learned a lot. Uh, stuff that we just never really, it, it's, it's crazy to think after doing it for so long and the billions of dollars in real estate that we've sold that, you know, you think you know everything, but you don't. Uh, we still yeah. need mentorship. We still need coaching. We still need training, even me and Jillian. And we have learned so much uh, from the training here. And obviously that trickles down to our agents as well. Um, and when you talk about, you know, opening over 50 transactions in one month in a down market uh, just recently, you know, that's a, that's a pure testament to uh, the training, training and mentorship. It's really interesting. I, I have conversations with agents all the time and like, you know, we're fortunate enough, we're gonna be at the real rise event uh, coming up in we'll San Diego as well. Yeah. yeah, we'll be there as well. You know, we'll have to, we'll say hi and, uh, yeah. you know, have a couple, couple have a couple beverages. But uh, it's really interesting, like the conversations that we have, like I've had conversations with agents that are fortunate. They get into an ecosystem like Real or they get an ecosystem like Compass or they get into an ecosystem, uh, you know, like EXP. And there's, there's agents that just aren't that fortunate and like, and they, they get stuck into this mentality that, you know, it's like, well, this person has an 85-15 split. So because they have an 85-15 split with a cap, uh, this is going to be the better option for me, but they have no business acumen and they therefore, and they don't have any training and then they just kind of spin their wheels and they don't know what to do. But it was really interesting. You said to me something, something like you're like billions of dollars of real estate sold, really large team and I'm still learning things. And I'm a fundamental believer that you know, if your coaches don't have coaches, then they, you know, there's something fundamentally <laughs> wrong with what they're, what they're teaching. But like, maybe like walk us through and like, depending on how, you know, open or how vulnerable you can be, um, walk us through like some things that you have learned as a real estate team lead that potentially there might be other real estate team leads listening to this podcast, you know, that 
they might not know. Like, what are like some of the top three things you've learned this year as a team lead that has helped you, you know, close out those 56, 57 escrows? Like, I know you mentioned uh, that, you know, they're like, like just even switching the fundamental belief that like you can get, you know, a core group to do 30 to 40 transactions. That, that, that is a, that is, that's a fundamental like belief shift where like, what are some like common things that has helped you maintain where you're like, where you're at so far this year and like continue to push forward? Yeah. I mean, number one has been, and I've been pushing this now for a year and a half, uh, you know, back when the, when the rates started going up at the beginning of uh, 2022, uh, I knew that even even with uh, commission compression, right? Like our commissions are going down, rates are going up. I knew that it was going to require us all to work two or three times harder to, to make either the same amount or sometimes less. And I just tried to set that proper expectation with my agents that, hey, if you're used to working three or four hours a day and you're making a couple hundred thousand a year, well, you're going to have to start working 12 or 14 hours a day, seven days a week. And you, you know, you might be lucky to make a couple hundred thousand a year, you know, it's, it's possible, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to work two or three times harder. So th that has been, that's a big shift, uh, in this last market has just been work ethic, uh, showing up just, you need to show up, uh, for so many years, these agents really haven't had to like show up, uh, <laughs> you know, you, when you can sell real estate from laying in your bed, um, it, it's not like that anymore. You really got to, you got to get up and you got to grind and you got to make calls and you got to, you know, so that, that's been a big shift. Um, just, in, just recently, uh, through the training that we've been doing, we have learned, uh, me, myself, and this, this is anybody listening can benefit from this. You have to learn how to set yourself apart from your competition. Uh, mm -hmm. inventory is a problem all over the United States, not just here in Las Vegas. Um, m most markets are, are going through market, uh, inventory issues. And so when you, when you don't have that many people trying to sell their homes, uh, you know, we're all going after those few fish that are thinking about selling their homes. So a lot of our training, uh, for our agents and for me and Jillian has been, how do we set ourselves apart? How do we, how do we, uh, you know, after doing this for 20 years, me and Jillian just recently have learned so many tricks about, uh, setting ourselves apart. Things like, you know, having little swag bags to leave with your customer, which I never, ever considered doing anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh, setting yourself apart with the way that you present yourself, setting yourself apart with the way you dress, setting yourself apart, um, with, um, like, I guess an example would be, I never had a Calendly account, uh, setting up a Calendly account. And when you get a, an appointment for a buyer or a seller, setting that appointment in Calendly for yourself, but then that also keeps the, the client yeah. up to date. Right. I didn't, I didn't, I never did anything like that. Uh, d those are just exa exa a lot of different examples that we've been learning, uh, here on our team over the last couple months that really goes a long way in in the in the consumer's eyes yeah like wow no one else no one's ever done that no one's ever left mm -hmm. me a swag bag no one's ever kept me up to date on you know the appointment and what's coming up no one's ever sent me a video a half an hour before i showed up to an appointment yeah. saying you know yeah we, we never did any of that stuff uh you didn't have to really but really moving forward now you have to uh, you, you, you must set yourself apart. So th that's another big one that we've been, um, uh, teaching our agents. Um, and you know, attention to detail, um, having a, a, you, you mentioned it earlier, solo agents in this market are going to have a really hard time. Uh, hey. you, you more than any, you have to have training and you have to have mentorship. And so I think that's been another big shift in our market is, you got to align yourself with people who are doing it. Uh, and I know a lot of agents, you know, obviously the big pushback is they don't want to pay a split. You know, I want to yeah. give up 50% of my commission. I get it. I get it. But at the end of the day, 
it, it is important which team you pick, by the way. Um, you want to make sure a, a team that you decide to give 50% of your commission to does have the training, does yeah. have the mentorship. Their doors are open. Like they're, they're there to really make sure. I promise to the solo agents out there that are listening, you can make four times more money than you're making on your own if you get and yourself right. aligned with, an, with a team that really is there to make you, you know, do better. Hey, what's up? If you're a real estate agent that is not converting at least two deals a month, join me inside the Real Estate Sales Academy where I will teach you exactly what to say, how to say it, so that we prevent objections and we don't create sales resistance from our prospects. If you're not doing at least two deals a month, comment trial below because I'm going to give you an opportunity to try our program before you buy it. You're going to get three live coaching calls with me who sold over $250 million in real estate, millions of dollars of Cutco knives for free because I believe in try before you buy proof over promise. See you inside comment trial below. Yeah. No, and I, and I fundamentally believe that cause I like, I speak like we primarily at Sheridan street, like we do calling services and we do, uh, you know, we do, uh, we, we do ads for, you know, single agents. We do, uh, we primarily work with teams and a lot of these calls that I get on with, with, uh, with single agents, I'm like, you don't need us. Like you need to join a team. Like you, like you're, <laughs> you're like, I, I literally had this conversation last week with an agent. I'm like, like, what, like walk me through, like you've never done a transaction before. Like, why are you looking to spend, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars a month? Like you'd be far better off just joining a team. If you're going to, you know, fork out a thousand to two thousand dollars a month, you're far better off just joining a team that is going to provide you leads, provide you training teach you yep. how to actually walk through you never close you never close transactions so like you, you don't like tra the, then there's transaction coordinating fees it's just like i think people get caught up in this like belief system that it's gonna like i'll figure it out and i think that it's good but i think that like people get a rude awakening after like you know over 200 episodes they get a rude awakening being like okay like i didn't have the support from my broker and i think that fundamentally agents think they're going to get more support from their broker of record than they actually yeah. do in, uh, than they actually do get <laughs> when the rubber meets the road. And, yep. and, and like, that's the whole reason we do this podcast is like, you know, it's like Daryl and Jillian have a successful real estate business where, you know, you've been through from 2008, you're now, you know, we're now in 2023, you've seen the ups and downs, you've seen the, you know, transaction volume not being great in 2008 and, and, you know, being, phenomenal in 21 and terrible in 2023 <laughs> like you've seen it all and you you're able you're able to learn so much from people that have already been where you want to go and fundamentally i believe that and i know that we share that ethos yeah. to business and to life like, like let's talk a little bit about business acumen because i think that i've had far too many conversations with agents that like because the this, this is generally how the vast majority of agents get into business and you've probably heard this before you know sitting at a table your uncle's like, hey, you know, you get the gift of the gab. Like, have you thought about being a real estate agent? And then, you know, they leave their, either their corporate career or they, uh, you know, they were a waitress before and they go into real estate and then they realize how hard it actually is. And like, and the, the, the system hasn't set them up to learn the business acumen that they need in order to run a profitable business. They haven't taught them about taxes. They haven't taught them about uh, you know, monthly net margins, like all these things. Like when you're working with your real estate agents or you are advising other real estate team leads or you're advising other, uh, you know, just people in the real estate space, like what like what are some things that T A team leads need to think about and then B real estate agents need to think about in order to actually run a profitable real estate business? Yeah, I, and I think it's, uh, I see, we see it all the time. Uh, agents, you know, deer in the headlights, like they, most agents are good for one deal. Like a lot of agents get into the real estate business because they got an uncle or brother, or, you know, they want to buy someone they know that wants to buy a house. So great. They get one transaction down. Then it's like, then what? And I think a yeah. lot of these big, these big real estate houses have businesses that are based around that because they, it, it's in the front door, do a deal out the back door. They just, they bring them in. Right. Uh, like you said, they, a lot of them don't take the time to teach you what it takes to actually be a realtor. Um, and for agents that have just been getting their licenses within the last 14, 16 months, it's been especially hard. 
uh, you know, because I mean, we're having a hard time. We've been doing it 21 years and we've sold billions of dollars in real estate and we're having a hard time. So I, you know, I just can't imagine what it must be like for a new agent. And that is an exactly what I'm talking about, getting yourself, aligning yourself with a mentor and a team, even if you need to do it for one or two years and then go out on your own. Uh, but you, you, you have to learn the business, right? So at the end of the day for team leaders, it comes down to, I know there's a lot of team leaders out there that don't trade. Like they, they give leads, uh, they provide a lot of leads and, you know, they provide some script training and they do this and that, but man, it, I have to give a lot of credit to real in our <laughs> president, Sharon, who is amazing. Uh, man, just the amount of training that they, we have been able to get for our team through real has really, really, really helped our specific team. Um, and of course me and Jillian, we have an open door policy. You can walk in and talk to us anytime, but at the end of the day, um, no one taught me how to, I, I got into, uh, uh, issues with the IRS very early because, you know, no one, no one taught me to take a little bit of money out every, every, uh, check you get, you know, no one's doing it for you. Uh, it, it, it no one, no one trains agents about this. No one trains agents about investing and, and saving and, you know, uh, buying a home for themselves and just all this behind the scenes stuff. I was with a broker for 15 years, uh, love them to death, but you know, I, I didn't get a lot of that training, uh, earlier on. Uh, I wish I did. Um, and so now me and Jillian really try to take time through our, our, um, weekly meetings and, and say, you know, remind, I pull agents in all the time and, uh, one-on-one -on -one and I'll just have a quick little conversation with them. Like, Hey, how are you doing with your, with your taxes? <laughs> how are you doing with, uh, you know, saving money? How are you doing on, you know, your, your debt, you know, things that, I would have never thought about in my earlier years of uh, real estate. Yeah. Now, because I've went, I've learned the hard way. Uh, we have to teach that stuff. They, it's, and, it's, it blows me away. They don't teach that stuff in school, uh, and, you know, in college, in high school, they should be teaching that stuff and they don't. Um, yeah. And so, you know, as far as being a realtor, um, you, you going into the business and you asked me in the beginning, you said in the green room, like, what's your superpower? And I said, uh, my work ethic. I think it's, and it's, it's showing up and, and doing the work. If you're going to be a realtor, you've got to know that this isn't a, you know, two or four hour a day job. It is an eight to 12 hour a day job every day, uh, Monday through Sunday, uh, no days off. Um, now again, when you reach a certain level of success and you've got some money in the bank and da, 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 yeah, you can start taking days off. But I'm telling you for a new agent, you, you have to grind because it just takes so long to get that pipeline full and learning how yeah. to, learning how to, you know, build your database and learning what a CRM is and learning what true follow-up is, learning what to do with your social media, learning how to shoot videos. And like, it's just for a new agent, it's a lot. And that's why it's so important to align yourself with a, with, um, a good team and, and some good mentors. Well, so many people get into this business and they get into just entrepreneurship and like they get like a lot of people like get into it because of the freedom and flexibility that entrepreneurship gives you. And like what you quickly realize is in order to create that freedom <laughs> and flexibility, you need, you need money. And in order to get, make money, you have to sell things. And in order to sell things, you got to be good. And like, it's it, it, like fundamentally like the, my question has to do with how do how do you get good and and you mentioned like mentorship you mentor you mentioned training uh, like what is like what do you feel like effective training looks like what do you like because like I, I have I have my my key concepts around everything takes time skill and volume and I, we've chatted about that in, in the podcast because like so many people out there will say Facebook ads don't work Google ads don't work calling your database doesn't work. The new, th the new thing is Zillow doesn't work. It's like, no, like they all work. It just all takes yeah. time, skill, and volume. Like Zillow still works for a lot of people in a lot of different markets. It's just like, what, like how, do, how do people get good in the space without getting jaded? So I'll, I'll give a, just a quick example that I think will answer that question. You don't plant a seed in the ground and the next day 
pick the fruit. <laughs> it takes months of watering, weeding, you know, cultivating, you know, just painstaking, just taking care of that plant sometimes for yeah. years before, you know, an apple pops out or, a, you know, a piece of fruit. Yeah. So I tell my agents like, we're all farmers, uh, you know, the training, you know, that we give is runs a lot about being consistent. Uh, a lot of people talk about, like you just said, you know, oh, Facebook leads don't work. Google leads don't work. These don't work. Blah, blah, blah. I hear when I hear anyone say they got a bad lead, I literally feel like slapping them. I do because there isn't no, there isn't a such thing as a bad lead. It's just a lead that's not ready right now. And Man. so agents feel like if it's not ready to, if this person is not ready to list or buy a home in the next 30 to 60 days, it's a bad lead. And it's like, Man. you got to get over that right away. Uh, I, I have leads that I have prospected and followed up with for years, four years, five years, seven okay. years, people that have been in my world for God. I mean, I've, I think I've had people in my world that I sold homes to 14 years ago that all of a sudden now they yeah. want to sell their house, but they, they always say, I, I watch all your, you know, of course I do a lot yeah. to stay in touch with these people. That's a whole system of staying in touch with your SOI, you know, having the right CRM, a lot of that stuff's automated, but making sure that they're all part of your world, making sure that you're sending, you know, I do a lot of handwritten cards, which is a lost art. Um, all these things are, are the training that you get from a solid team and from the mentorship that, again, if you were to, any agent out there that's like struggling, get yourself with a solid team for a year or two and it will set you up for the rest of your life. If you want to go back out on your own or you want to start your own team or whatever, you're going to learn a lot of good lessons to like set you up. Daryl, man, this was, uh, this was a ton of fun. Like, um, I, I love the, I love this conversation because the consistency, the, the business acumen, the, uh, just like the, the ability to really see that, like, you know, what is required of us in 2023 is different than 21 is different than 2017 is a, is a lost art. It's one of those things where we just, we forget. And it's the, today more than anything was an amazing reminder to show up as our best selves and just to be consistent. If somebody were to want to yeah. reach out to you, maybe they want, maybe it's an agent to agent referral. Maybe the, they're in the Vegas area and they want to learn about potentially joining your team. Where's the best yep. place that they can, uh, they can find you and they can reach out to you to have a conversation. Well, my phone number is 702-218-4585. Uh, my email is my name, Daryl Hanna, D-A-R-Y-L-H-A-N-N-A at gmail.com. And then, of course, my Facebook and Instagram are both the same, Daryl Hanna Realtor, uh, at Daryl Hanna Realtor. Um, any of those, DM me, call me, text me, email me. I, I am, if you ask, there are hundreds of realtors that call me all the time and ask me questions because I tell them, I'll help you. You don't have to be on my, my team. I've went and sat <laughs> with coffee with realtors from other brokerages. They've asked me questions. I'm, I'm an open book to anybody out there. So thank you. Hey, I, I thank you for, uh, you know, speaking freely today, uh, you know, just sharing so vulnerably about what you guys are up to in the Vegas area. And uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, just sharing tips and tactics today that will really help agents win in their local market. If you're listening back on iTunes or Spotify, we don't monetize these things. All we ask is that you leave us a review. It helps us reach more people. It helps us reach more agents, get the right information. I really do believe, and me, I know Vikram uh, espouses to this belief as well. I really do believe that you are literally one degree away from the right information. And with the right information, you, you know, your life can literally change. And it's all about, it all starts with beliefs. Our beliefs map our thoughts, our thoughts map our actions. And it really does start with information. So if you got any value out of today's podcast, we just ask that you leave us a review on iTunes or Spotify. It really does help us reach more people. I want to say thank you for tuning into another episode of the RE Agent Podcast. We'll see you soon.